guys, Sandy Ingram here. On this channel, we report news surrounding the seven basic factors that controls any country's foreign currency rate. We mostly report on the Iraqi dinar, the Vietnam dong, and the Zimbabwe dollar. We have recently included low-cost investment options, including gold, silver, and equity investments. In today's video, we will talk about Iraq's early election and how the election could affect our investment. The equity investment announcement is extra, extra special and could change everything when it comes to space travel. This is one investment I am sure NASA engineers are watching very closely. Depending on who is elected as the new Prime Minister of Iraq could have a profound effect on the direction of the IQD and Iraq's financial future. So let's look at exactly how the country elects a president and a prime minister. Parliamentary elections are scheduled to be held in Iraq on October 10th of 2021. The elections decide the 329 members of the Council of Representatives who will in turn elect the Iraqi president and the Iraqi prime minister. The president of Iraq is the head of state. The president is elected by the Council of Representatives by a two-thirds majority and is limited to two four-year terms. The president is responsible for ratifying treaties and laws passed by the Council of Representatives. Now, the prime minister, on the other hand, is the head of government. The existing prime minister says he will not run for any office in, op in the October election. Iraq has made an enormous amount of progress since the existing prime minister has been in office even with the pandemic slowing finances down to a trickle. Yet, the existing prime minister does not choose to run for office. We have known about his background since he was appointed as the prime minister of Iraq. Thus, when he said definitely that he would not run for office in the early elections, this led me to do a deep dive research on such a man. The more I researched him, the more I decided not to report on his past, other than to say he left his job as the intelligence chief of Iraq when he was appointed as the prime minister of Iraq, meaning before he was drafted for the job, he was Iraq's top spy and is equivalent to the director of the CIA, MI6, James Bond type of man. Moving on to our equity investment tip. If you are interested in investing in a company that could one day top SpaceX or the efforts of Jeff over at Amazon for NASA's attention, this is an investment you may want to explore. I don't understand all the technical information, but I do understand if this engine works as explained, space travel will be very different from what we have or know today. The minimum investment is $250 US dollars. Let's take a listen. Detonation Space was founded with a mission to rethink the way engines work. As a result of our work, Lundet engine is now poised to break out, bringing more efficiency, power, and innovation to the aerospace industry. Our goal is to be the first company to make detonation engine technology fully commercial. And here's how we're going to do it. Growth is a challenge in aerospace because production cost is expensive and engines are based on deflagration mode that dates back to the dawn of rocketry. Liquid and solid fuel engines weigh a lot and require extraordinary amounts of fuel. There's a hard limit to how much those designs can be improved. Our Lundet detonation engines are engineered with a revolutionary approach that renders those problems obsolete. We've developed the Lundet 7 to include newly commercially available technologies like an aerospike nozzle, radial pre-detonator, detonation combustion chamber, and regenerative cooling. That makes our detonation engines 30% more efficient than traditional deflagration engines. They are 40% lighter, reducing pressurization requirements by 80%. 
giving detonation space unlimited potential to transform the entire aerospace industry. We're raising capital to build a test facility. We've proven progress with our designs and see a growing demand for our technology. We have two patent applications pending and five more being prepared. We expect that our detonation engine is a solution that will be a game changer for any type of aircraft in any segment of the market. We believe that by using our detonation engine, drones can fly longer, consumer airliners can carry more, passenger rockets can fly farther and haul higher payloads to space. We want to become the true propulsion technology of the 21st century. We want to fill the aerospace industry's need for an engine that's more efficient, available, and profitable. We want to be the first to fly a detonation engine on a mission to space, and we want you to be a part of it. If you're inspired by the future of space travel, click to contribute to Detonation Space and bring the future one step closer.